Hello friends, myself is Dr. Vikas Vijay and you are watching our channel Accounts Guru TM. In this video, we are going to discuss the format of Statement of Profit and Loss Account for Class 12th Accountancy. This is the very first chapter. In last two parts, we have, we have already discussed the format of balance sheet and in this part, we are discussing the particular format of sta uh, Statement of PNL. So first of all, before starting the video, let me ask you, in case if you have not subscribed our channel Accounts Guru, just go and subscribe this channel so that you can receive such useful videos in future too. Fine. So let us start today's video and just watch this video till end because we'll be taking very, very uh, important example, uh, which is important from the point of view of board examination. So kindly watch the video till the end. Fine. So let us start with the statement of PNL and we always write here for the year ended because all the transactions we are recording for the uh, current year, fine, which are happening during the current year. In the balance sheet, we used to write as at, but in the statement of PNL account, we write for the year ended, fine. This is particulars, this is note number, this is figures for current year, and this is for the previous year. So the very first item, we have got the revenue from operation, that is the sales, then we have got other income, and then we have total revenue. So for these three items, I can use the word rot, okay? Revenue from operation, other income, and this is the total revenue. Under expenses, we have these expenses like around seven expenses are there so first of all we have the cost of material consumed then we have the purchase of stock in trade and then we have the change in inventory of finished goods work in progress and stock in trade so for three three items i can just use the word c p c okay uh, this particular uh, word you can say abbreviation is used in internet when we when we just browse the websites or the youtube channels the cost per click so cost per click means cost of material consumed, purchase of stock in trade, and change in the inventory. Then the next two, what we have, EF, fine, EF, these are the alphabets, they are in the same order, fine, EF, so employees benefit expense, and then the finance cost. So we can remember ROT, revenue information, other income, total revenue, CPC stands for cost of materials consumed, purchase of stock in trade, and change in inventory. And EF is employees benefit expense and the finance cost. Next word is what, DO do means for d d stands for what depreciation and amortization expense and o stands for what other expenses fine now we have total expenses now from this four and this particular we have the total revenue this is the third item and the fourth was expense so third minus fourth means what total revenue minus total expenses is going to profit before tax and from this figure if we subtract the tax we get the profit after tax so this is the format of statement of profit and loss account fine and now uh, we must discuss the individual items like say for example what all are included in revenue for operation and what all included in other income so let us discuss those particular items individually for the very first item that is revenue for operation we normally include the sale of products okay that is the main goods in, into which we are dealing in case if you are providing services then we will include the revenue from the sale of services if you have the other operating revenue like sale of the scrap uh, for example, if you have a main product and along with that, the byproducts are also there. So the scrap material uh, sold is also a part of the revenue for operation. Then we have commission received, uh, etc. And from these, we deduct the excise duty because it is charged again the same revenue, fine, and again the same services. So this is deducted from the total. Now from other income, the other income is what? Uh, the non-operating revenues okay and this uh, we will be doing in the chapter cash flow statement and there also I have used the same word the same abbreviation drip this word denotes the non-operating income for example D stands for what dividend receive R stands for rent receive I for interest receive and P is the profit on sale of fixed assets fine and in case of profit other loss is given then loss on sale is subtracted here if there's a net loss, then it will be shown as other expenses. Then we have got the employees benefit expenses, uh, salary and wages, contribution to provident fund and other fund and staff welfare expenses. Next very important item is the finance cost and it includes interest expenses such as interest on debentures, fine, interest on borrowings and interest on bank loan. Then other borrowing costs are also there. Then we have depreciation and amortization expenses. It comprises of what depreciation on fixed assets, okay? So normally as we know the depreciation word is used only for the fixed assets. Then uh, writing of intangible assets such as goodwill and patents, it means amortization. Last we have other expenses and it still comprise of manufacturing expenses, carriage and freight, selling expenses, your rent, your bank charges. The most important is bank charges. Normally the kids they get confused with bank charges, they put under the finance cost. So always remember bank charges is not a finance cost, it is other expenses, fine? 
Now, let us take a practical example. This is a question in which we have the stock that is the opening stock is there. We have the purchase of stock, then other expenses, revenue for operation, employees benefit expense, and then we have other income, depreciation, and amortization, and the finance cost, and lastly, tax expense. And this is what is stock in trade on 31st March 2018, that is the closing stock. So, let us start making the format, actual format of the statement of PL with the uh, figure given here fine so first of all uh, before starting let us identify the first three words which we uh, used in the format the first three word was rot okay rot means revenue from operation other income and t was what yes total revenue very good so from this can we see r yes r is there and the other income is also there fine so we have both revenue from operation other income and we will get the total revenue the next word was what yes very good the next word was CPC. CPC stands for what? Uh, cost of material consumed. Then P was purchase of stock in trade. And last C was what? Change in inventory. So this first C is not here. If you can just see, the cost of material consumed is not there. For example, say for example, if I'm manufacturing this watch, say for example. So if I'm manufacturing this watch, the cost of my material consumed will be a very first C. But in case if I'm, if I'm not manufacturing it, but if I'm buying it as a whole, uh, as a wholesale item and then reselling it on retail basis then it, it will be my purchase of stock in trade okay so for a manufacturing unit it will be a cost of material consumed but if i'm buying it as it is in bulk quantity then it is a it is what my very good purchase of stock in trade so in this case i can see only p is there there is a purchase of stock in trade and this c was what change in inventory and this change in inventory we can calculate from opening minus closing you can just see opening inventory is there how much Yes, 30,000 is there and the closing inventory is how much? 40,000. So, we can see 30 minus 40 minus 10 will be the change in inventory. So, this CPC is over. Next item was what? EF that is employees benefit expense. Yes, employees benefit expense is there and the finance cost is also there. So, my EF is also there. The last two item was DO. D stands for depreciation. Yes, and O was what? very good other expense so we can see other expenses also there other expense fine so in this way we get the total expenses now if we subtract uh, total expense from the total revenue what we will get the profit before tax and out of that if we subtract this test figure definitely we will get the profit after tax so let us see the solution now in this solution you can see the revenue for operations there yes very good this revenue for operations there and in this revenue for operation, we have 1,75,000, okay? And then other income is also there. We add the other income and then we'll get the total income. Then under expenses, we have, we have shown all the expenses, purchase of stock and trade, change in inventory, opening minus closing, employee benefit expense, then finance cost, depreciation, other expenses, all are there and the total comes down to 129,200, fine? From this, if we subtract from the total revenue, we subtract the total expenses, then what we'll get? We'll get the profit before tax. And this is this is the profit before tax from which we if we subtract the tax figure, we get the profit after tax. Fine. So this is the format, actual format of the statement of PL. So I hope you understand this statement of PL. And in the next video, I'll be uh, getting comprehensive question of uh, of both the statement of PL and the balance sheet format. And from those items, definitely it will help you a lot. And in the board examination, the question would come from those particular items. I can assure you that. So it will give you a very good practice. Fine. So thanks a lot for watching the full video and uh, once again if you like the video please uh, like it, do thumbs up, just press the thumbs up and just share with your friends and do subscribe our channel and see you in the next video with more useful content. Thanks a lot, bye bye, take care.